Hi guys, in today's video we will demonstrate how to create a general ledger account in Odoo. We log into the Odoo system now. Before I get started, please ensure that you have the accounting application installed. Click on the accounting application, click on configuration, click on chart of accounts. And this, these are a list of all your accounts currently available in the system. You can filter your accounts. So this is a pretty neat feature by Odoo. And let's assume in number one, uh, we would like to create a new GL account. So we click on create. Once you click on create, enter your code. Please ensure your code is consistent with the other GL accounts to have a good system. Enter your account name. So I'll click on I'll write stock. This is my new account. I would like for my accounting entries. My type, it would be a current asset. Uh, it's important to select the right type. This will ensure that the standard ODU reports are working correctly, like your profit and loss and your balance sheet. Uh, your default taxes, if you if you would like to default taxes when uh, processing general entries into this account, you can select it here. You can add tags and groups. So these are basically for additional reporting purposes. As you can see, the current tags are there for your cash flow statement and groups again, it comes for reporting purposes. Allow reconciliation is basically if you would like to match invoices and payments of general entries. So you can select this and this would be typically your accounts receivable and accounts payable account. And deprecated means if the account is no longer in use, you can click on deprecated, basically making it inactive. Once you click on save, the account code must be unique. So wonderful, Odoo has a unique feature where it will block us from creating it. So let's try 100. Let's click on save and now it's created. Uh, if I go into my chart of accounts, if I search for my account, 100, you can see it's available here. In the future, you can make changes to the, in the stock name, but I would not recommend changing the current asset type as this will affect your uh, balance sheet and income statement. I hope this video was beneficial. If it was, please like, share and comment. Thank you and goodbye.